Okay, welcome back. Last time we finished off the Mana Castle, and in between episodes I said- Well, I said that I was going to go and get a new persona for Nanjo, and I've decided I'm going to fuse Hermod for him. Which is a persona of the Magician Arcana, so it's not perfect for him. However, he does have good affinity with it, and I'm going to give it Zandine. I'm giving it Zandine because I don't really have much in the way of, uh, whatchamacallit, blast damage available. So I assume that- well, you know, just getting more general coverage will be a good thing for him. So let's quickly pick up Hermod, and then quickly just, uh, shuffle that on over to being his equipped persona, and then we can get on with what we need to be doing today, right after I quickly go and heal. I probably should have just done that in between episodes, but hey, it won't take all that long, and it only costs me 1,500 yen, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so... 1500 yen, everyone goes back to full health, full SP. Realistically, I probably didn't even need to do that, but honestly, it's just a convenience thing. This is not the way I need to go. I need to go out this way, I think. Or did I bamboozle myself? No, I've gone the right way. Fantastic. And... Okay, to be honest, that took a, li that took a little while to load, so I was starting to think, am I actually... Sorry, uh, that took a little while to load, so I was genuinely starting to think the game was going to count that as an ambush. Also, I know that, watch my uh, the Elagors are immune to, uh, they're immune to wind. Not wind, just magic in general. So realistically, I'm not going to get a whole lot out of this this turn. However, just immediately we can see just so much more out of Nanjo in terms of damage. And as you're... Man, everything hates my Sao right now. I don't really know why. Maybe it's just... It's probably just because I have him, like, dead set at right at the front, but still. I don't know, things really don't seem to like him. I don't know, maybe Nanjo paid them to attack him. Okay, off we go into the Haunted Mansion. Right after this fight. Man, we got stopped by one anatomy. And that is dead. No? There we go. So, now we head on into the Haunted Mansion. Also, I love this little bit of sound design. I love the kind of just creaking of the floorboards as you walk. I love that. That's great. Like, I genuinely think that is super good. Also, turn to turn, uh, Orphrus there has Megidola. Uh, I will very soon have access to Megidola for Ryo- for- no, no, for Reiji. I nearly called him Ryuji, then I nearly called him Ryuji, and honestly, both of those would have been incorrect. <laughs> I'm off to a great start today. Okay, I'll just gun down all the rest of these enemies. Also, 10 out of 10, uh, since, since I have everyone just kind of right at the front anyway, getting ambushed doesn't actually seem to be that much of a problem. And let's quickly just uh, patch everyone else up for 10 SP. Because 10 SP to be able to do that is kind of absurd, not gonna lie. Also, I should note, this is, this dungeon is, I think it's only three floors. I, it's not, it is not a big dungeon. However, uh, I also need to kind of just figure out uh, where I'm going. Because this could take me a little while if I get lost. <laughs> like, this isn't a big dungeon, but it's one where you have to uh, deal with, watch them call it. Uh, darkness floors, so there will be parts of this dungeon where I just won't know where I'm going. And there are obviously various doors throughout. Also, we got ambushed again? Fortunately, I can just destroy these things. I know these things are just weak to magic, and, well, unfortunately for these demon painters, or they, no wait, they're zombie painters. They're zombie painters. Demon painter is, uh, well, Demon Painter works at the Velvet Room in Persona 2. Okay, so that's uh, Zandine Vose, then Magnara, and Garudine. And all these things will die this turn. Honestly, it's kind of nice to see... It's so nice to see Inanjo actually being able to do damage. Also, we just got, the, we got an Adamantium Claw... So, I know that's a weapon for Reiji, is that better than the Iron Claw that he had? Uh... I mean, it is strength plus five. Uh... Two hits. It's weaker, but way more accurate, but hits everything. And Okay, I'll try it for a couple of fights and just see how it goes. However, I know that I will need to... Actually, I just... Oh, I see how this one's gonna go. Okay. 
I'll just blast through these at the front line. Now I'm gonna waste SP. Oh, wait. I thought these things were... Oh, I guess these things are also weak to magic. Never mind. For some... Uh, for some reason, I mentally... I just thought they were gonna be the other way around. Okay, what do these people all have to say? These guys seem like they're in the same... In boat. Sorry. These guys seem like they're in the same boat as you now, yeah? Okay, what do they have to say then? In truth, we're not from this world. The trouble is, we can't go into the room with the machine that will get us back home. Could you please take a look for us? Damn it! Kandor used us for our, for our research, then left us here. And that is everyone down to 1 HP. Uh, we also got a Vitality Incense. We can hear the ghost of a woman crying in that room. The others say ghosts don't exist, but none of them will actually go in there. Scientists who are scared of ghosts. Ghosts? Kandori sure can pick them, huh? Sure, it's a haunted house, but I didn't think it had a real ghost. Rumor has it that a woman's ghost haunts this place. Well, before we do anything else, let's just heal everyone back up, and we are now full HP for 10 SP. Like, I know I mention it a lot, but I really do just want to double down on mentioning. Also, I guess I can't go that way, because every option was blocked. These things reflect ice, but I didn't have any ice uh, going on, I think. They resist wind. I can just heal. I should switch Maki away from doing just that. However, they are weak to blast. That's good to know. I think they might resist fire. And Earth just missed. Okay. And uh, Hathor maxes out and learns Hell Eyes. Hell Eyes is honestly a move I'm probably never really going to use. But hey, Hermod having Magarula is pretty nice. It's pretty nice because that just means Nanjo can now do even more damage. And you know what? Yeah, sure, Nanjo can do all the damage he wants. Weak to electric, nuclear, gravity, and blast damage. Okay, let's just hit them with Earth. Then Maki can just shoot one, I suppose. Then I guess Will Zandine and Gravity, then Gravity again. And that should finish them all off in one turn. Because that just annihilates both of them, and if well, if Masao doesn't finish it off in one, which he did, I was going to say Reiji would then just uh, have the follow-up, and we have a Maragion stone. Uh, we will now level up Vitality, uh, uh, luck, uh, luck, and Dexterity. Dexterity is just kind of convenient to have, and I know that I don't need to go this way, so this, uh, this flight of stairs was not where I needed to be. I think I maybe need to go up the ones on the top right. That... The ones on the top right seem like the right ones, but I don't remember for certain. Also, I should probably be a bit more careful, because Reiji is nearly dead. On the plus side, that should finish them. And, uh, yeah, as always, we just kind of breeze through another fight. Reiji hits level 36. Uh, unlike most starter Pokemon, he is not going to evolve. I mean, he'll, you know, he'll get some more character development as we go through the game, but, you know... Actually, now I think about it, there's a good few starter Pokemon that don't evolve at level 36. Uh, like, I think you get Feraligatr at 30. I think you get Feraligatr at 30. Uh, you get Torterra at 32. Uh, I think Inteleon, you get that at 35. Okay, we are not high enough level to negotiate with them just yet, or at least now he isn't. Uh, I think all of the original ones are 36. I think Meganium's like 32. I might be completely wrong on some of these, because I'll be totally honest, there's a few Pokemon games I have not played in a fair while. And by that I mean I haven't played Black and White 2 in a good while. Uh, I haven't played I haven't played Heart Gold Soul Silver since I last played that. Well, since I originally played that on the channel. Uh, I haven't played I haven't played Sun and Moon in like six years. No, six years is maybe a bit much, but it's been a good few years since I played Sun and Moon. In my defense, uh, I didn't like it when I first played it. In my defense, I didn't like Sun and Moon when I first played it, and uh, yeah, uh, my 3DS is also not exactly in the most optimal of states to be playing things. Like, the hinge is kind of gone, so uh, not exactly an optimal way to be playing games on it. And how do I do this every single time? If there is a dead end, I will find it. Okay, let's just go for as much AoE as we possibly can here. Also, I love being able to just kind of blast through things. 
Uh, let's go for Gravity and then Garudine. And realistically, I should probably give Reggie a bit more focus. Okay, Hermod goes up to rank 5. Doesn't learn a new move, though. I think maybe I should try to give Reggie a bit more focus just so I can finish off getting Ilyanka maxed out. Because I know that I've said it a lot, but realistically, Ilyanka is just so broken. Like, Ily Ilyanka is so disgustingly busted in this game. Okay, we can just gun down all of these, but I'm just going to go for one neutral turn. And, and realistically, we'll still wipe out all of those... I don't even know what those things were. There was an Orphorus, two of the bird things, and then there's this power. I don't remember how to negotiate with power. Because I don't think it was a... I don't think it was a Nauia thing that he's good at. So maybe someone else can do it. I don't know, maybe... Maybe K Nanjo can bribe an angel or something. Okay, this is a dead end here, by the looks of things. And Bufudain. I still wish Bufudain would just target... Well, in general, I think... I wish abilities in this game in general would, would just target the middle. I think that would be so much more helpful, but hey... I know I can kind of have, an, have a set automatic thing. Okay, let's go this way. Which realistically was kind of just a waste of my time. Because uh, I just looped it back around. I basically cut through to go to where I would have been if I'd gone just around there. So, is there more through here? Can I navigate just a little bit further through the darkness? Or do I have to go through the entire building? Okay, these are weak to gravity, nuclear, and blast. So let's uh, hit them more. Let's just hit them with some more earth damage, uh, which is is what I'm not actually going to do. I'm just going to shoot at these ones. Uh, then we'll just go for blast, then gravity, and just a little bit more gravity. And Ilyanka will actually just destroy these things once we get a Megidola. However, I should probably be a bit more careful about Reggie, you know, nearly dying for irregularly. How did Masao miss everything? Okay, let's just shoot at these things. I will say, I do greatly appreciate just how many shots you kind of get. Like, you fire once, and it's like, pow, just a bazillion hit. Like, you shoot once, and you get so many potential hits out of it. Okay, yeah, this appears to be a dead end from here. So, we have to make our way further through the building. Because, obviously, the darkness is a... Well, the darkness is a key part of the Haunted Mansion. You know, makes perfect sense. And because, of course, of course the Haunted Mansion would be dark. And that... Honestly, I'm kind of amazed that that Naga survived that. And then Maki just pulls from a gat and just shoots once. Note, I don't know if that actually... I don't know if that counts... Ad admittedly, uh, gun terminology is not my area of expertise. It is something that will more than likely never be my area of expertise. But hey, here we are. If nothing else... Okay, so they are, they're, these things are definitely... Words? These things are definitely weak to rifle damage. I can confirm that. Because Masao can't hit them from where... Masao can't hit them from where he currently is. They take neutral damage from Maki's pistol. But they take good they take weakness damage from Reiji and Nanjo, who both carry rifles. I don't know if they're like a specific type of rifle or what, but hey. Okay, Maki just one shot in that thing. And now that kills one and Nanjo finishes off the rest. Fantastic. And Nanjo gets a level up, so I don't need to worry about his SP situation anymore. And we've got a Megiddo stone, so I can now teach something Megiddo later on, which is very nice. Uh, only Dr. Nikolai realized Kandori's true nature. Well, I suppose it's too late now, but we should have stopped Kandori by any means available while we could. That dim uh, the dimensional passage on the third floor was unstable. If we don't hurry, it could it'd become completely unusable. That's, that's pretty bad. Going after Kandori? It's too late. His dreadful scheme is in motion by now. Come to think of it, the old man who made the machine is the only one who owned up to what he did. Kandori. What's his scheme? Good question, Nanjo. 
Don't any of these people regret, regret what they've done? We need to hurry or you won't be able to go back. So let's quickly open this, grab a metal card and a garnet. And away we go, back through, well, back through more vaulted mansion. Okay, this thing's going to try and negotiate with me again. However, I can't negotiate with it. Because I was not high enough level. And I just completely messed up that negotiation. Fortunately for me, they aren't going to do all that much damage. I say that as Masao gets frozen solid and takes a fair bit of damage. But hey, here we are. Okay, let's go for earth damage, I suppose. Uh, then Maki can just shoot something, I guess. Uh, then we'll go for Zandine and get rid of that. Gravity damage there. We should get a good amount of, amount of damage here. We won't kill everything this turn, obviously. We should get decent damage. Well, if nothing else, we killed the Naga, so we should be pretty safe from here. I say that as everyone else just kind of gets frozen solid and can't move. Uh, this is actually looking pretty bad. Is what I would be saying if I was lying. And I guess Reggie just kills all those things with his uh, Persona Desperation move. Please tell me that didn't reset him. It didn't. Fantastic. I don't know why, but I have... And I feel like every time that happens, I just have a kind of moment of paranoia about it. Of just like, what if it resets that Persona back to rank 1? Because I'm pretty sure I've seen that happen before. Like, I don't know why, but I'm fairly certain I've seen it happen. You know what? Let's go for Zand... Actually, not Zandine. Let's go for Magarula and Mamagnara and Garudine. Either way, oh, he's, he's dying one turn. Bang, destroyed, and we still do not get... We still don't get Megidula, but we'll be okay now. Well, that evidently was not where I needed to go. Amazing how I do this every single time. Okay, preemptive strike. That just means uh, everyone gets free hits in. And by that, I mean uh, these three can continue to just do whatever. Uh, and then uh, that should be good for turn one. And then we just gun this last thing down for turn two. Good job, Nanjo. I do like... I think I mentioned it in a previous episode, but I do like the little detail of how even though Onanjo and Reggie both have rifles as their primary gun, well, as their guns, I do appreciate how they have very clearly different types of rifle. But I think that's a nice little detail for them. Also, I can't help but notice, but that thing, uh, that thing that we just killed, why did its defense animation look like it was just flipping me off? It was just like, nah. Nah, buddy. Defense. Uh. Okay. I think I'm making my way through the darkness here. Okay, let's just go for regular hits and see how much this does. Mabufule is honestly a bit of a pain because everyone just gets frozen. On the plus side, now that I think about it, I now that I think about it, I think everyone was really safe against it. I think I had people be really safe against ice in the Snow Queen quest. And then in this route, I think I'm a lot more uh, vul vulnerable. Yeah, I'm going to go vulnerable to it. Okay, so is there another path through the darkness here? Probably not, but let's uh, quickly just double back and find out. Okay, this is an easy one. Is, is Marduk maxed out? No, he isn't. So let's just hit him with a Maragion. Maki can just defend. We can go for a Magarula. We can go for a Mamagnara. And we can go for a Garudine. These things do not survive the turn. Because Maragion finishes them all off. Even though it's very clear that once again Nauya is starting to fall behind. But hey, I will find a solution for that in the near future. Hopefully. The solution may or may not just be putting Ilyanka on him once it gets Megidola and just blasting through things because Megidola just annihilates half of the game. Like, genuinely, I I cannot state enough how broken Megidola is in this game. But hey, can't really complain about it. And now... I am liking the fact that I'm going to have a lot of Maggie, uh, not Megiddo stones, uh, Maragion stones. So I can just teach a whole bunch of things Maragion if I need to. Okay, let's just go for the same move. 
Okay, Nanjo just annihilates all those in one turn. Fantastic. And Nanjo hits level 39. I think he's still the second highest level, level now. I think he's just behind Maki. 38, 40, 39, 38, 36. Okay, yeah, Reiji is starting to fall behind, but once again, Yulianka will come and save the day for that. Also, I know that I need to go back through the dark. I know that I need to go back through the darkness to find... Uh, okay, hit rank 6. I know I need to go back through the darkness to find the way up. However, uh, I just want to make sure that I don't miss any of the side rooms. Because realistically, finding potential bonus loot is always nice. And also, there's... That's just another save point. Like, I was not kidding when I said this game is very generous with save points in dungeons. Like, this game is so generous with save points in dungeons. Remember, I can just walk out of a dungeon if I so need to. Like, if I need to, I can just triasto out and walk out of the dungeon as well. Okay, Reggie hits level 37, so that's kind of nice. And this is another dead end. No, it isn't. I mean, it could just be another dead end in the darkness, but hey, we'll find out in just a second, won't we? Also, because Nanjo does most of the damage there, now he just finishes them off. Nanjo still gets most of the EXP for those. Okay, this appears to be the way up. Fantastic. Because I'm pretty sure that this dungeon is only three floors. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's only three. Okay, so I'll have Nanjo just kind of take the turn off, and then I'll go for Zyonga, and then Gravity, I suppose. This way I can get at least a couple of turns out of them, because I know now I won't kill these things in one hit. And now we just run the same turn back, and that should kill them. Great. And also, now I guess most of the EXP that time, and Maki just levels up via Osmosis, I suppose. Her dexterity and agility are super high. Maybe that's how we know. Maybe that's how we know they're good in this game, because they're just what Maki uses. Okay, so now the question is, why did I not just take a step backwards there? Either way, we're just gonna run this same fight back again. Because I know what's waiting for me at the end of this dungeon, and I don't need to worry about it. Like that's my open statement. I don't need to worry about it. Because, well, we'll see when we get there. Okay, so. Uh, okay, I guess it must be on the other side here. There we go. Uh, forward this way? Okay, off we go. I say forward this way, off we go. I need to kill this thing straight away. Okay, now yeah, I'm just gonna have him single target that. Uh, actually, no. Now yeah, can shoot. Maki can Bufu Dine. Everyone else I'm shooting with. I'm shooting with everyone else because I want that thing in the middle gone. Like, I want the thing in the middle of the back row gone. Because that is potentially dangerous to me. And by that I mean it is the only thing here that I'm actually worried about. Because they they love casting moves like by hair. Like, they cast a hair quite a fair bit and I shouldn't have done it that way. But hey, we still win. Fantastic. Like, it loves using a hair. And, honestly, unless I switch Reiji over to one of his other personas, he'll just take a ton of damage from that. And this must be the end here, because there's... Well, there's nothing else here. We've navigated the rest of the area. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make a quick cut and make a save state, so I'll just be a second. Now, I'm making a save state for a very important reason, but I'll explain in just a minute. Hey, now yeah, you hear something? I told her so many times not to come here, she'll get lost. Maki, where are you, Maki? Did did you just hear it say Maki? Hmm. It rather sound it sounded rather like Maki's mother to me. I've been telling you I don't have a mom. Maki? Is that you, Maki? Come here. The door doesn't seem locked. What should we do, now yeah? It may be a trap. Should we go in? Yes, yes we do. We go in. Okay, so, huh, so it was a trap after all. Let's do this, Naria. Maki? Oh, Maki, I finally found you. You're safe. That voice, there's no mistaking it. It's Maki's mother. I've been in looking for you all this time. Please come to me, Maki. So, off we go. 
Is it right to leave Maki Bean area? We should destroy that demon. With her voice. That's Maki's mom, I'm dead sure. Isn't it? I don't know why she'd look like that, but what if it really is her mom? Put your weapons away in area. Hmm. What will we do? So, here's what we do. The reason I made the save state here is so I can fight Haruti, and then I'll... Okay, so I'm gonna fight it to show what the boss fight is like, and then I'll do... Then I'll reload the save state, do lure your weapons, and then continue on from there. So, basically, we're gonna do this boss fight just kind of for fun, really. Why are you getting in the way? Give me back my daughter. My child, give Maki back. Hey, isn't this really Maki's mom? Here it comes. Also, we just don't have Maki for this fight, which I suppose actually makes a lot of sense. So, we're gonna switch over to Phalag and just cast Tarunda a couple of times. Also, I'll be totally honest, I do not know what this thing is weak to, so we are just gonna kind of wing it and hope for the best. Because, I'll be honest, I don't know what... That was, that was a good amount of damage. So yeah, I don't actually know how well we'll actually be able to do this boss fight. But hey, I think we'll be okay. So, wind was resisted, gravity is resisted. Let's try electricity. Bang, also resisted. Uh, well, when in doubt, when in doubt, let's just try physical attacks, I suppose. So, we'll try that, uh, then we'll try Fist of Fury, and Reggie can go for Bone Crusher. Why not? Well, that certainly wasn't resisted, but that did a fair bit of damage. Okay, so, I'm quickly learning that I, uh, don't do much damage to this thing. And I left Chucky at the Velvet Room, so that's not going to be doing a whole lot for me either. Okay, so, let's go for another Tarunda. Then we'll try Zandine. Actually, no, I think I'll always try that. So let's try Magarula. Then we'll try Gra- No, we've already tried that. So let's try Earth. And then... Let's see if- Let's just see how much rage he can do with his gun. Oh, that just killed Naria outright. Wind Mist. Okay, I don't know what this thing's weak to. Fortunately for me, I did save state. Uh, fortunately for me, I did save state before this boss fight, so even if- So even if I do die, which I'm not counting on happening, because, uh, I would prefer to not have that happen if I can avoid it, obviously. Uh, yeah, pretty much, I think I'm okay. So let's go for Mediorama real quick. Then we can go for. Uh, let's switch over to. Uh, uh, switch. Uh, is that words? Switch Nanjo over to his base persona and then just start shooting, I suppose. Because I can boost up my magic and also Suku ca also cast Suku Kaja, which should, in theory, un unless this unless it works differently in this game to how it does in every other game. Because it says raises hit rate. However, it's usually like an accuracy thing, which is also, which is also kind of code for lowers. Well, it doesn't lower their accuracy, but you know, if you, it increases your uh, like chances to dodge, I suppose. Okay, let's just try hitting it from here on out, I suppose. Because because realistically, I think we can get a decent amount of damage. Nanjo just can't get healed now. Fortunately for me, that shouldn't be too much of a pain, because that should wear off in about three turns. And I don't think Nanjo is going to be in all that much danger. Let's try Crimson Sublimation and see, this, see if this thing's weak to fire. And then just go for Zyonga, I suppose. And then Reggie can go for Garudine, because I it absorbs wind. That's good information. It's weak to, it's weak to fire. Oh, I am so sorry, Harity, but you are weak to fire. And I have Marduk here. And we can just do that. Nanjo still can't get healed. So let's uh, let's throw an Agidine stone. And then Reiji can just shoot, I suppose. Okay, Masao can't get healed for a few turns, but we should be okay. We boost our magic even further. And now we just throw... Masao, please use your eyes. Come on. Okay, let's just go for Agilao. Then Nanjo can switch back over to Aonbar. Uh, I don't know. Can 
Can Nanjo get healed yet? Okay, it doesn't say I can't heal him. So as much as he would probably hate to do it, I can have Masao heal Nanjo. And then Reggie can just attack. Shababu is a binding spell. So we aren't getting any real move out of Nanjo or Masao this turn or next. So I guess Reggie can just uh, come through because Reggie d does decent damage. Actually, maybe I should switch and use Brass, like his base persona. What kind of moves did it have again? I should probably check on those. Actually, let's boost our... Yeah, let's boost our magic one more time. And then go for Zionga and Gravity. Because honestly, this boss doesn't... This boss doesn't seem to do a whole lot of damage with, like, one hit at a time. Like, it's when it does a big move that hits, like, six times, then I need to worry a little bit about it. However, I don't think I... Actually, let's do it this way. Let's just make Reggie mad. Let's... No, wait. Let's make Masao mad. And he'll just wail on this thing, in theory. So, Nanjo can switch over. Masao can attack, and Reggie can heal Nanjo. I'll just use a rattle drink. Honestly, that should probably be enough. Maza oh no! Okay. So, Masao is now in fury state, so he's basically super mad. Uh, he's effectively now in a state where he is just super mad and won't listen to anything else, I think. And I don't think... I think I... Now that I think about it, I don't think he can actually get hit by other status ailments. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he now just is kind of locked in. I might be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's how this works. Okay, so let's use Balm of Life to bring Nanjo back up. And then Masao can just attack. Man, they really did just kill Nanjo outright, huh? So here's the issue. I need to get Nanjo up. <laughs> I need to get Nanjo up and also keep him alive long enough to switch his persona over. Okay, so, now you can cast Aguilo. Uh, Masao will just do a regular attack as he's been doing. Then I'll use a Bomb of Life to bring Nanjo back up. Unless he gets- unless they got hit by Bind. Fortunately for me, uh, Masao is kind of just on it. Like, he isn't doing much damage, but he is getting there. Realistically, let's just, you know what, let's just do it this way, because I'm reloading after I finish this fight anyway. Like, I'm reloading the safe state after I finish this fight anyway, because I'm, I mostly just kind of want to show how this fight goes. To be totally honest, uh, if I'm being absolutely honest, I didn't think it was going to go this badly. I thought I, I, thought I would genuinely kind of just breeze through this fight without much hassle. Oh wait, the rage status effect went away. That is... Honestly, kind of good information to have. You know, let's try something else. Let's try... Let's try Zandine. Did that work on him? Well, did that work on it? It does, but not as I would have hoped. Okay, I'm going to switch Naria back over to Feleg. Uh, Nanjo can switch over to Aonbar. Yeah, because I don't have fire on that. Masao is probably going to drop this turn, but I'm going to have him heal Reiji. And Reggie... Actually, maybe I should have Reggie and Masao heal each other. No, I'll have Reggie get healed by Masao and then just punch. And Mazandine does a lot, okay. Okay, so Nanjo should now be in a, situ in a position where he can do a bit more damage. I can Mediorama to heal everyone else back up. Then I can use... Uh, then I can cast Maragi... And then I can have Masao use a Revival Bead on Reiji and bring him back up. And, of course, Nanjo died. Great. So yeah, this fight... I'm suddenly starting to think that maybe I wasn't prepared for this boss fight, and it's a good thing I'm... Like, I'm suddenly starting to think that maybe I wasn't prepared for this boss fight, and it's a good thing that I'm not doing it. I mean, I say that as I'm actually just in the middle of the boss fight, but hey, here we are. Okay, Masao can use a bead and heal Reggie, and then Reggie can just shoot. Okay, Reggie just drops. But you know what? I can cast... Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'll just keep spamming out Crimson Sublimation. I'll keep spamming out Crimson Sublimation, because I'm reloading this fight as soon as the boss fight ends. 
Like, I'm reloading the save as soon as, the, well, the save state as soon as the boss fight ends. So, realistically, it doesn't matter, like, who takes and who, like, who takes all the damage, who gets, gets all the EXP out of it in the end. So, let's just keep going for it, I suppose. Wait, did I go for weapons fight? Yes, I did, okay. So, Crimson Sublimation wins us the fight. Okay, so, Nario would've got a ton of EXP. He would've leveled up twice? I mean, he would've gone to level 41, so I would've put a point into every stand and, de and then one more dexterity. Okay, so, now that we've done that, now that we have done that, uh, let's see what the dialogue says here and then switch on over. Okay, so, we do that, and now I'll make a quick cut. Okay, so, I've reloaded the save state, and now we're back here. So, we choose to lower our weapons, and basically, we just do the, and now, how we just skip the boss fight. Everything else plays out the exact same way, but we skip the boss fight. So, that's kind of fun, but there is a reason for why we would do this, and we will see it later. Ugh, this... This isn't the infirmary? Oh, it's the Haunted Mansion. I was just having a dream about this place. See? Maki's mom doesn't exist in this world, so this has to be her. But what's she doing here? You okay, lady? Yes, I'm alright. Maki used to get lost in lost at this mansion and went often when she was little. I'm used to looking for her here. I was just dreaming about those days. I was searching for her in this huge mansion and I heard Maki call to me. I don't remember anything after that. Um... Miss, I'm not your real child after all. What? Allow me to explain. So Nanjo now just catches Setsuko up on the story. Which is very nice and p kind and polite of him. So that's it. You're the Maki of this world. But why don't I exist here? Yeah, it looks like a rather unstable thing. Uh-oh, the dimensional passageway is about to disappear. I'm sorry, lady, but we have to chase down Kandori. All right, just give me one moment. The dimensional passageway is very unstable right now. Someone has to stay here and operate the machine. What? No, we can't leave anyone here. I'll do it. Don't worry, go ahead on your own. Though I'd be grateful if you came to get me when this is all over with. I mean, yeah, it would, it would suck to just leave her there. Miss. Yes, speak quickly, there isn't much time. I... I don't have a mother, but if I did, I'd hope for one as kind and caring as you. We'll beat Kandori and save your Maki while we're at it. Yes, please do. Thank you. So with that, it is time for us to go, by the looks of things. Now get going, all of you, and be careful. So now, another kind of dimensional leap later, we're now returning to the real world. So now we're back in the world where the game began. And however, well, you know, we have to quickly go straight to where, yeah, we have to go to the Deva Yuga. Like, we have basically warped right back into it, in terms of practicality. So, let's, uh, see what's happening. Ugh, I don't feel so good. Ugh, I feel sick. Well, you must be tough of a new look now, yeah? <laughs> probably, probably because it was a false teleportation. Really, we should count ourselves lucky we came through in one piece. Ugh, what's with you, Masao? You look ridiculous. Heh, <laughs> might want to look in the mirror, Reiji. You're as blue as a zombie. <laughs> if you can make jokes about it, you'll be fine. Let's get back on track. Can you stand up, Maki? Ugh. Yeah, she's fine. Up we go! I'm okay now. Look, Naria, it's that scientist. So, I guess we did save him, in a sense. Ugh, m my head. Hey, the old dude survived. Something seems weird about him, though. Let judgment fall upon the foolish humans. Mankind needs no future. Ruin, annihilation, destruction. Let judgment fall on mankind. Let the music of destruction ring out. Dude, what's gone into you? Come on, why are you talking like Kandori? 
because he's already little more than my double. In fact, humans around the world already share my desire for annihilation. Kandori? What the hell are you talking about? You madman. Have you brainwashed the entire globe with that mirror? Everyone following a unified ideology. Doesn't it sound wonderful? I've accomplished something no ruler ever achieved. I've transcended the human. That's preposterous. All I need to do now is give the order for them to kill each other, and everything will be over. A thing end for a species of fools. No one else will be hurt. Only mankind will be wiped from this planet. But why? Why do you want to do this to people? Ha! <laughs> that sounds rather unlike you, Maki Sonomura. How do you know my name? The mirror's power affects all. You children are no exception. Can you still reach me where I await? And with that, he disappears. Oh, we'll reach you, you bastard. Let's go now, yeah? There's no telling what dirty tricks that bastard has in store. Be careful. How does Kandori know me? So that's why. It's inconceivable. That jerk, he, I can't believe he's gonna go through with this. Now is the time for I'm of the final judgment. Why was mankind created? Without an answer to that question, the infection must be cleansed. Okay, so, now we head on out into the hallway, and straight into the Deva Yuga. And this is a save point, so we are gonna save and end off today's episode here. So, today we managed to finish off, well, do the entire Haunted Mansion, and next time we're going to be starting up the Deva Yuga. I think this will be a two. I think this will probably be a two episode dungeon. But I don't know for certain. We'll see about it next time. So I'm going to end off today's episode here. And we'll continue on next time. As always feel free to leave a comment. To click any buttons down below if you feel so inclined. And yeah I'll hopefully see you all next time. As we start up the Deva Yuga. Okay thanks for watching. Later.